You clicked on this video because you want to know how real hacking looks like. Put the movies aside. I mean, movies tells you hacking can be done in seconds, but in reality, hacking can be done in hours, days, weeks, or even months. It just depends on what you're hacking and your brain. <laughs> some are faster, some are slower, so that's what hacking is. And today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can do a simple hack by cloning any website and making a person to give you their credentials, their email, their passwords, their everything. And in this example, we're going to use Instagram, but you can clone any website you ever know. It can be X, Twitter, it can be LinkedIn, it can be Instagram, Google, whatever, and it works. TikTok, anything, Snapchat, and this video is for educational purposes only. That is a disclaimer, and I want you to put this in mind. Don't do this without permission, or just do it with permission, messing up with your friends and families and see their reactions, something like that. But do not do this without explicit consent of anybody you're doing this on, okay? Now, let's go. What you need in this video, you need a Cal Linux operating system. Operating system, for those who don't know what it is, it an operating system is something that makes you run different things. I mean, it can be like Windows or Mac OS for Apple, and it can be like Android for phones and iOS for iPhones. That's all I gotta say. Like, I gave you some examples. Now, via the examples, you will tell yourself what that operating system is. Now, in this case, I'll be using a Linux distro, which is called Linux, and it is the best for penetration testing and all types of hacking. I need you to get Kali Linux or any distro of Linux. They can be Ubuntu, Parrot OS. They all work perfectly. Now let's go into the video. All right, guys, now we are back and I want you to get your computer right now and let's go into it and I'll tell you. And I will tell you what you can do. Now, right here, this is your Kali Linux machine. And you know, in Kali Linux, we don't use navigation like this by clicking on things and anything like that. We don't do that in Kali Linux. In Kali Linux, we use something called the terminal. And this is where all the magic happens of hacking and everything. This little thing here is the terminal. Now, close one and I double click on it. Now, this little thing here is called a terminal. And what I want you to do in your terminal right now is go ahead and write the following command. If you don't know the commands used in Kali Linux, make sure you comment down below that you want to learn them. And I'll make the video of that. That's another topic because we've got a lot of commands and you need to be familiarized with them before you start making your hands dirty. Or else you might get in trouble. You might collapse the whole system. Kali Linux is very, very sensitive. Now let's go back. Now type the following command sudo. This sudo command is like the please in Kali Linux. Kali Linux, there's something called this one and there's something called root. For example, when I tell you, I show you this one, you need to write the password right over here and you become the root. Now the root thing is right here, then I sudo su. Now this one, yeah, I can write my password. And you can see right now, this icon here, it is changed. It is now to root. In order to do anything, when you're in root, you don't need the sudo. Now this sudo works only if you're in the normal mode, not the root. Now if you want to clear this up, you can make control L and it will clear itself up. Now what I want you to do is write please because you are not root and write set toolkit. Now this stands for SET, stands for social engineering toolkit. Now it is SE toolkit, social engineering toolkit. Now this is the toolkit that you'll be using in order to hack. Any kind of Linux is built in with this one. So just Press enter on this one, and then something might open up like this one. As you can see here, we got social engineering attacks, nutrition testing, everything. Now we're going to do a social engineering. I want you to press one. This is the easiest hacking of all. Yeah, like you just need to press some numbers and everything. Like hacking is this easy? Come on, I don't know. Now, right over here, we're going to use the website attack vectors. Now, I want you to type number two and press enter. And right now, we are going to do the credential harvest attack method. Now, right now, I want you to press three and press enter. And right now, we are going to clone a site, as I told you. This can clone any site in the world. Now, I want you to go and press right over here, two, press enter, and it will tell you to write the IP address for the post bag. This is the IP address of your machine, of your computer. If you don't know it, Linux is very amazing. Here is the IP address of your machine. It already gave it to you. Now, I want you to write the same thing here. So just type in 192.168.235.87. Now this, 
you can confirm it and you can see this one is my IP address when I press enter right over here it will tell me enter the URL to clone now what I want you to do if you don't know the URL open your web browser I can open Firefox right now and when Firefox is opened I want you to think of something now right now go right over here in Firefox and search Instagram because you're going to clone Instagram Instagram.com now as instagram is opening up you can see i want to show you something now instagram will open up at the login page this is the page that we need to clone right over here so when somebody writes any credentials the phone number and the password you get them right away crazy right now what i want you to do is right click on this one then press copy then come right over here let me minimize this one a little bit come right over here and press paste clipboard now when I press enter right over here, it's cloning the website, this could take a minute, now the website is already cloned. Now what I want you to do is come back to your here and let me open another. Now let me close this one. This one now, I want you to type the same IP address I just wrote here that the post will be listening to. Now the host will be listening to. I want you to type 198, then I want you to do 192. 0.168.235.87 now after that i want you to press enter or press this and that you can see after i open this one something right over here is opening up now this one is reading if i write here anything i've made a demo account and i want you to show something now the demo account uses this gmail so i can just Pretend like I'm logging in or something like that. YouTube at gmail.com. It's for demo. This email doesn't really exist. I just made it up. Maybe I'll delete it or I forgot. I don't know. And my password for this one is... Uh, don't try this at home. Now, when I press login, you can see right over here there was a problem logging you in into instagram you can never log in using this one now what when the hacker gets this information and scrolls up right over here the hackers might find something really fishy you can see possible username field found the username equals to youtube at gmail.com now for example this one is the hacker and a hacker goes into his web browser and something like that and goes into a legit instagram page by typing in instagram.com now he's going to use the credentials that you just gave him to log in into your page now he just copied that he's going to paste that here now we're going to find the password password possible file password found instagram browser here is the password don't try this at home crazy right you just started hacking <laughs> very amazing now, what I want you to do, a hacker might just want to copy this one. Now, he might copy, copy the selection, and after here, he's going to paste this one right over here. Now, what I want you to do is delete these spaces right over here, and when you press login, something will open up. Let's see. As you can see, the Instagram is logging in. We just hacked the first person. Now, we're going to something which is really good, and this is how can you actually make this person this person to get to click in that link that you're going to send him or her and there is when you're going to use the phishing attack this is sending an email with a link that will direct him or her right over here and this email will be sent as instagram he won't see my username whatever whatever gmail.com the first thing that he's gonna see is instagram Typing for Kev9, and what you're gonna see is here this account is actually legit, and I can follow, and you should follow too. This account, it's amazing, right? And I want you to do one last thing open up the terminal once again, the terminal emulator right over here. And after it is open, I want you to type the same command sudo su. I'm going to teach you how you can actually. Put the password for sudo. Okay, now it is opened. 
Now, I want you to go right over here and press one for social engineering attacks. Now, what we're going to do, we are going to do the mass mailer attack. Now, I want you to press number five right over here. And what I want you to do, you're going to, you can do mass email attack. And this, you can send this one to multiple, multiple, multiple people. But I want you to do the single attack only if you have a specified person that you want to him or her to get this email. Now, I want you to press one. And after here, you can see there's a predefined template or you can use a one-time template. It's a lot. Now, what I want you to do, use a one-time template and you can write the subject of the email. Now, let's do something amazing, something that will make him or her want to go and click that link and see or log in into his Instagram account and give you his or her credentials. Now, I want you to do, now, you might get a little bit creative right over here. I'm not going to be that much creative. Now, let me say just, you got... A direct message for those who don't know what direct message is it's actually a DM a direct message okay sorry about that from now let's say you already know this person likes maybe a famous pop star music or whatever now a music pop star you can say Ariana Grande or something like that one he's famous and this person maybe has been obsessed with her, Ariana Grande. You can do anything, Ariana Grande. Now that's the subject. As HTML, do a plain text. Press P, then enter. Now what I want you to do, if you are done doing this one, you type end with capitals when you're finished. Now I want you to write the main boy. Now here you get all creative. You do whatever you want to do. I don't want to get more creative because it takes a lot more time. Now what I want you to do right now is go ahead and type in. Let me say let let let's cook. Let's let's think of something. Okay. Okay. Now, hi. Let's have hi. The name. The username is demo. So hi demo. You got a new DM from Ariana, and if if you want, shake it up. Click. the link below. I know most of you must be asking yourself, what, what link is going on now? I want you to go back right over here. Right now, we don't have a link yet, but you can make this IP address be as a link. And when you send to my friend here, demo, he or she, now let's say a demo is he, he will see something really fishy. Now, I want you to go right over here and press Control c to end this one. And I want you to go back again and press 3, press 2. Now, you can press 192.168, okay? Now, 0.235.87, okay? When you press Enter, it will tell you to put the site, whatever. Paste the link right over here. And I want you, if you press OK here, everything will be done. Now, press OK right over here. Now, a hacker must do this one. Now, when this one is listening for this link to get to get clicked, now he or she will tell you. Now, you can press Enter, new next line of the body, and you can just do like, you can type in the IP address. Click the link below. Now, for now, let's do the IP address because I haven't changed this one yet into becoming a link. 168.8. Two, three, five, point eight, seven. You might put this one in mind, or if you don't know, you can just come right over here and you can copy and paste it, whatever, it works. Now, I want you to do right now is press enter, and now I want you to type and in all capital letters, capitals, and press enter, and after that, when you are going to send the email to, now at this point, at least, you need to know the email of the person you're sending this phishing attack. It's called the spear phishing because actually when you're phishing, you use a net to capture everything. That's mass mailing. Send it to everybody. But this one is called spear phishing. It's like you're phishing 
single person, a spirit. Now, I want you to do is type in his or her Gmail or whatever or email or anything. Now, it's going to be that at gmail.com. Okay. Now, it's done. You can choose whether you want your Gmail account or if you want if you have your own open server, open relay, or a server or something like that. I'm going to choose number one, my own Gmail account. Don't get freaked yet because this Gmail account is just used as a path, not the display. Let's go into it. Now let's say I have another one. This is not the same one. Now let pay close attention. This is 003. It's another one. A Gmail dot com okay now from name the from name now you're going to be like instagram <laughs> crazy right instagram okay now right over here you're going to put your email password and after you put your email password you press enter no not just say no priority press no and then press no uh, as after now the email is sent appears the password is incorrect okay now it's kind of like i've mistyped the password or something like that but if you type the password right okay set as finished sending the emails press enter to continue now you're going back it's spear phishing attack vectors we're done we're done when the guy goes and get the email he's, he's done he's doomed he's already already doomed we already hacked him now if he, he goes and he, he or she clicks the link it will take her to this website one nine two this website and when you press enter right over here it will open him or her into this one now as I, if i open this right over here you can see and when he or she opens up the instagram there's no inbox no dm no nothing no anything yeah, but that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, like, get notified, do everything. Subscribe right now. Go. The button is right there down. Press that subscribe button. Like the video. Share with friends and families. Make sure they stay ahead of the hackers game because hackers, nah, they are not good people. But they can be good. They're black hair hackers. White hat and the gray hat. Make sure you be a white hat hacker. You do the boots, you protect you, and stay safe. Don't be a black hat hacker. Now stay safe, everybody, and catch you in the next one. Peace out.